Excellencies, Heads of States and Government, distinguished guests, it gives me great pleasure to be here with you today to restart the discussions between two brotherly leaders, two Somali leaders. This is only the last of many such meetings you have had over the last two, 20 years. And we still have hope that you will be to have fruitful talks today. As we all know, a few days before now, from now, we'll mark the 60th anniversary of the end of colonial power in the Somali territories. After the struggles of the last 30 years, the time for a rebirth, a rebirth is now. Indeed, this new generation of young people are not burdened by the violence of the past, and I believe they are the best suited to build a new. What is in mind? I would like to remember that this is not for or about our generation. It's not even about our children's generation anymore, but about our grandchildren and the idea we want them to have of the Somali nation. You may be the ones in the room today, but they will be the ones who will live with the decisions you make for them. We know <clears throat> that not of all the problems will be solved here today, but we also have to remember that just being open to discussions and be willing to get the men and women you lead closer today is the ultimate goal. Putting aside the political side of things, we would like to see beneficial outcomes in terms of free trade, free movement of people and goods, as well as cooperation on all matters in order to provide opportunities to help your people prosper. Once you have established a blueprint for cooperation, you can start to build on those achievements and ultimately give it any form you like. Your Excellencies, there comes a time in every leader's life when the people in the room have to make the decisions that will serve most of their people and do the most good for the largest part of the population. That political courage is demanded of you today, and I believe that you are up to the task. This is not a zero-sum game where there is a winner and a loser. All we can ask is that you think beyond past and imagine what future is for your peoples. I would like to thank you for trusting us today and wish you a fruitful discussion. As Djiboutians, we also remain hopeful that our brotherly Somali peoples will find a way forward together and will always stand with you to help foster the best outcomes for everyone involved. Thank you.